Did you ever have strep throat? It's not a big deal. You go to the doctor, you get antibiotics, you get better. But imagine what it must have been like for our great grandparents. If they had this infection, they might have died. This is a threat that we rarely face due to the miracle of antibiotics. But today things are changing and dangerous microbes resistant to all known antibiotics are becoming commonplace. If we don't stop them, we won't have to imagine. The problem is now widely recognized and policies to slow the emergence and spread of these resistant bugs are currently being pursued. But policies alone won't be enough. What we need is new drugs and we need them faster than the bugs can generate resistance. So how do we generate these medicines? Nature has always been the best source, but significant hurdles remain. The traditional discovery methods are failing, and the chemical methods used to optimize these starting points into effective human medicines are slow and cumbersome. The result? No new kinds of antibiotics have been approved for use in over 30 years. Now the good news is that two major scientific breakthroughs have opened up a path forward. The genomics revolution allows us to mine microbes for new antibiotics using genes as hooks to pull out the thousands of molecules that we know exist. And recent breakthroughs in synthetic organic chemistry now allow us to make and optimize these natural starting points using Lego-like assembly that can even be automated. We've assembled a team of world leaders to unite these technologies to build the first of its kind discovery engine that can find, make, and optimize any natural antibiotic, delivering the medicines we need to solve the problem.